Hey guys, I'm Kyle Swindemans Friedman. I'm the captain and initiator for Team Stay Green here at the Hontor Finals in Las Vegas, Nevada. So Kyle, how did you get involved in Heroes of New Earth? Oh man, that's a long story. Um, I actually used to play Pro Left for Dead. Wasn't that good at it. I was, well, you know, I was a pro, but not number one. So that to me is bad. But uh, guy basically on my team said, "Hey, this game's way more fun." Offered to buy me a copy. I was like, "Okay, sure, why not?" And uh, it was actually, you know, he got me a closed beta invite. Then bought me the game later. But it's been like three and a half years. I just kept playing, kept playing, kept playing. Got better and better and better. And now I'm here. So what do you like about the game? Uh, it's hard to say, really. I mean, I love traveling, and I've gotten to travel a ton from the game, so it's probably number one for me. Just the, the perks you get for being good at it. Uh, I mean, I make my living from it, so I mean that to me is enough, but I, I just still enjoy playing the game. I like the strategy, I like the competition, I, I like all MOBA games. I watch Dota 2 and League streams at a high level, so I love playing, and you know, it's fun for me, so if I can make a living from it, why, why stop? What separates it from other MOBAs? I'm much better at it than the other ones. And uh, personally, I like um, I don't like League because of the graphics as much. I don't like Dota 2 just because of the slower response on the engine, which you know you can argue adds or removes elements of skill. But to me, it's just from after playing thousands upon thousands of games, it's just so difficult for me to switch from like LAN to a few those extra you know tenths of a second just kill me sometimes. What's the key to your success in esports? Probably just try harder than everybody else, honestly. Uh, we're pretty good, but you don't really, you don't become the best by being good. You become the best by trying harder. And that's, I, I think we're the hardest trying team here, so hopefully we win. How much time do you dedicate to eSports? Oh Lord, it's such an awful question. Um, way more than I care to admit to anybody off the internet. So, you know, I guess this is cool since we're here, but minimum of probably six hours a day. But I mean, then you get cool stuff, like we went to Thailand, won a LAN, stayed an extra week in Bangkok and just had a blast, you know, no video gaming. So, you know, you take the good with the bad. So what does it take to go from a good gamer to like a competitive esports gamer? Uh, probably three things. You gotta have a good attitude and a willingness to improve. Especially in team games, you can always play better regardless of situation. So it's really important that you can self-criticize yourself and, you know, improve from that. Um, dedication probably, just how hard are you willing to work. And uh, in general, you gotta just have fun. So if you're not having fun, you're not gonna go pro because it'll just eat at you until eventually your soul's dying. And you might be pro, but you hate you hate your life, and that's never where you want to be. So what are your thoughts on the rivalry between uh, Heroes of New Earth and League of Legends? Uh, I mean, it, I guess it's a rivalry the same way the Lakers and Clippers were for pretty much all years pre 2000, pre, pre Blake Griffin, but. Um, I mean, it's it's good to have. Uh, we were actually bigger than they were about three and a half years ago. They went free to play, we didn't, and now we're here. But I mean, I, I love. I think the league community is actually really good. The pro players seem moderately friendly, and Riot's doing a great thing for esports. So I mean, more money in esports, regardless of game, is is better for the industry as a whole. So uh, I'd say it's more of a friendly competition versus a rivalry. There's a lot of uh, like competitive trash talking when it comes to StarCraft 2 and League of Legends. Um, do you think there'll be any, like, will that ever evolve to Heroes of New Earth and League of Legends? Let's hope so. Uh, I couldn't tell you. It really just comes down to how much money people are willing to throw out. Um, the reason StarCraft 2, II, Dota 2, II League are the, team, are the games people are hyped about are because they're the games that are, have million dollar prize pools. That simple. And that's really what, what makes you, I guess, a player in this industry at the moment. So, I mean, with luck we'll get there. You never know. It just comes down to how many people play and how much money there is. And, See what happens. Where do you see esports going in the next five years? Ooh, television. We were on TV in Asia. We were on TV and well, StarCraft 2 was on TV in Sweden. At the, for the first time, I actually got to witness the first ever TV broadcast. Uh, DreamHack Winter 2012, I believe. Might have been 11. I'm not 100% on that. Google it. Um, and hopefully America soon. I mean, I'd personally love to be the first guy to bring gaming to television in America. I think it's really would have a lot of potential, um, specifically because Halo 3, Call of Duty, or the, the Bungie, and um, who, I don't know who makes Call of Duty. Activision? No, that's Blizzard. Man. Um, no, Activision makes Call of Duty. Really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Score one for me. Okay. I don't play, so never owned an Xbox in my life. But um, I personally think that the groundbreaking games will be the console ones, simply because those are the ones that are cool in America and everybody plays. So I would say five years we're on television. If not, I'll be pretty surprised. What's it like competing here in Vegas? Pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to it. We get laser tag tonight, basketball tomorrow, and open bar, free food. I mean, and it's Vegas. I mean, 
I'm from Miami, so it's nice to just have a little bit of a chill every once in a while. But it's a really cool place. I like it here. Now the hardest question, if you had to pick one hero for the rest of your life to play in Heroes of New Earth, who would it be? Tough one. Tough and why? One. And why? Hmm. Oh, uh, it's tough. I don't know. They all kind of, every hero you play in any game is going to get stale. That's why I could never do StarCraft, because I don't understand how you could play, like, Zerg versus Zerg 3,000 times. It's just mind-boggling to too me. Too much meta, too much meta. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I, I, I really got to respect those, especially the Koreans' dedication to being the best, because it takes some serious, if you want to see work, watch that. But if I had to pick, I mean, I'd probably have to go with Pebbles. You can just do more with them, more fun really satisfying to kill people. Yeah, probably kills.